Yo, what's up guys, and this is going to be a little bit different video to what I usually do on the channel. But I wanted to put this video out there because I've been getting a lot of recommended videos in my YouTube every time I go on there. And it's just full of clickbait YouTube videos on Red Dead Redemption 2 on how to make money on Red Dead Online. And I'm actually going to show you a legit way of actually getting a lot more money than these uh, so-called best money glitches or making money-making methods online. So what you want to do is go to St. Denis and go to this location where I've marked on the map. And you're going to need two things. You're going to need a varmint rifle and you're going to need any uh, one of the other two rifles like a Springfield or a bolt action. So you're needing one of those and a varmint rifle. Once you're on making your way onto the, to the journey there, what you want to make sure you do is look up in the sky. I'm going to show you the amount of money I've got from the now from the start. So we're going to do this in 15 minutes. So we're going to look up at the sky shoot any birds that you see we're looking for the whooping cranes we're looking for herons in particular because they go for a lot of money with the feathers and once we've once we've feathered them to pluck the feathers from these birds and uh, if there are two star or above you want to go and stick those on your horse obviously the higher the star the better the uh, the carcass but we're obviously going to go sell those as well and if you didn't know once you go hunting as well and you skin these animals they don't affect the value of the carcasses themselves also, you want to make sure you take these carcasses because they do go tend to go for quite a lot. Like for, I think for a whooping crane, a perfect uh, whooping crane will go for $4.50. And I think it's one fifty per feather. And you get three feathers from a perfect one. So you're talking, you know, nearly six, seven, eight dollars per whooping crane. So obviously they want to keep an eye out for those. The herons in particular as well, they're worth quite a lot. I think it's $1.95 per feather. And you can get three of those. Uh, from one bird so we don't actually collect any from herons in this run which is crazy because we still made quite a lot of money but around this area here you're going to be seeing a lot of alligators spawn uh, they're not always spawn but uh, you might see some alligators around this area so you're going to use your spring for rifle or your bolt action to shoot it in the head and then skin these alligators obviously the higher the skin the better but uh, once you've skinned them you're going to get the big game meat you're going to get some uh, alligator uh, teeth and you're going to get the skin itself, of course. Now, if you get the uh, the big game meat, we are going to sell as well because you can get, you can make a lot of money from the meat itself. You can carry ten of each item, which including feathers, uh, the meat itself, and uh, the teeth. So we're going to put all the items on our horse right now because we don't have anything better right now. So I'm going to keep these on the horse just in case we can't find anything better. I'm just scanning the area now with my eagle eye, looking around the area. We see some birds here. So these are some peeking ducks. They're not worth that much, but um, we can go for those anyway. You get flight feathers from those as well as duck feathers. So you want to go ahead and pluck those. Two star or above, you can go stick that on your horse if you've got any uh, slots available. The whooping cranes are worth a lot more. Keep that in mind though. But if you've got a free slot on your horse, go ahead and stick one of these on your horse if you have one available. But the, the main birds you want to be sticking on your horse that, that value over anything else are herons and spoonbills. They will go for, I think, at least $4.50 each. Uh, just the carcass alone, if for, a, for a perfect one, that is. And we're going to shoot these out of the sky with a varmint rifle. You want to make sure you use a varmint rifle for that. Even better, if you have a small game arrow, for your bow and arrow you can actually get a perfect pelt every time but uh, that's that's if you have it i'm not making i'm not telling you to go and craft that stuff because it's going to cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, to get to get the pamphlet to create these arrows which is just stupid like i said this is a video i wanted to put out there for a legit strategy of making money because this is the best way of making money just legit hunting I don't understand why these other clickbait youtubers go around and tell you to do these stupid glitches with carts and uh, and uh, carcasses, deer carcasses for the rivers to try and collect fish. Where you can, they tell you can you can literally collect fifty dollars per hour, which is ridiculous. When you can get a much better uh, value for your money, despite doing what I'm doing right now, I'm just legit hunting around this area in Saint Denis. It's a very very vast uh, hunting ground. There's a lot of different varieties of animals, different species. Um, you know, alligators, birds, uh, muskrats. Which is another thing as well. If you get muskrats and squirrels, they're worth quite a lot. They can get up from one dollar to two dollars each, and they're very tiny. And you, every time you uh, shoot like a muskrat, even if it's a one star, you'll always get a perfect pelt from it. So you want to grab those perfect pelts. I'm just going to scan it over the west side over here to see if I can find any herons. I don't think I find anything over here. Uh, usually you can find some herons over here, but I was a bit unlucky on this run, including herons. See if I got some herons during this run. Then I would have probably got about $100 overall. But I see spotted some uh, balls in the distance. 
keep your distance from the balls here just scan on make sure they are pretty good and shoot them in the head with your springfield or your bolt action rifle whichever one you have now if you use any weapon other weapon to kill these animals it will degrade the pelt significantly so just keep that in mind you won't get a perfect pelt unless you use a rifle on these animals and you're making sure you shoot them in the head or the heart uh, you can determine which way where to shoot them in the heart if you use dead eye as well that's like another good way of doing it but we're going to skin these we obviously get the boar pelt as well as animal fat as well as tusks as well they go for quite a lot and as well as the pork meats you can carry 20 of those which again they go for quite a lot of money so we're not just selling the pelts we're selling the meat as well which is not a lot of people tend to do they don't tend to keep it because they don't think it's uh, you know all that valuable but you can collect a lot of this stuff big game meat you can get four dollars 75 cents just for carrying 10 and you can get three from each animal so just keep that in mind when it comes to this sort of thing especially with boars you can get 20 of these pork loins and I think they're about uh, I'm not completely sure the value now but this does tend to go for quite high a lot of money that's why even if it's a one star boar it's always worth uh, skinning uh, I'm not sure what the limit is to carrying all the uh, pelts on the horse but you can carry as much as you can I think so what we're doing here we're just shooting that muskrats we're just scanning the area for the eagle eye and scanning to see if we find any muskrats the frogs aren't really worth it I think they go for about 50 cents each I mean if you shoot one there you may as well just pick it up but uh, yeah I'd, otherwise I'd tend to just avoid the uh, the toads altogether also the snapping turtles they're not worth anything so I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, bother shooting those either but again once we've uh, grabbed those we're just going to carry on hunting around the area using our eagle eye see if we can see anything in the sky uh, we, want, we do ideally want some more alligators that would be quite nice to get some more alligator meat some big game meat spot one here in the distance so we're just going to go shoot those in the head that's a two star that's a three star that's definitely one we need and there's a couple of baby ones there the baby ones are worth more than the big ones actually but they're harder to hit because they don't tend to lock on and they're quite uh, they get scared easily and they run away but you can actually skin those and put the skin on the back of your horse and the pelt itself uh, I mean, and the carcass itself, I should say, as, you, as you'll see here. But a three-star skin and a, a corpse is, is it worth, I think, a fully uh, three-star perfect carcass is six dollars fifty, and the uh, the perfect pelt is about three fifty. So you can make about ten dollars for if you get a perfect uh, small alligator, which is really really cool. And you can store as many uh, perfect pelts on the back of your horse as you possibly can. But with the big ones, you can only carry one. That's the thing. Plus uh, the small ones, you can get more out of them anyway. That's another three star over there. We're going to skin that in a moment. But we're going to use this three star here and stick that on the back of our horse and replace our one star uh, one star skin. Like I said, this is such an easy, easy way to hunt and make a lot more money in uh, Red Dead Online. And it's a lot more entertaining than doing the whole boring sticking a carcass in the water and waiting for fish to go to the carcass it's just so ridiculous all these clickbait youtubers going out there claiming that these are the best money making methods when it just simply isn't i'm a level 81 now and i know exactly what i'm doing in regards to getting money i know exactly what i'm doing in regards to how to what what's what in this game it's ridiculous how they claim that these are the best methods when they just simply aren't they have spotted a fox here yeah that's a, that's another rarity there's some birds in the sky there as well Check out what they are. Ravens can be pretty good uh, feathers. The smaller ones, though, the smaller ones, like um, just the very small birds, they're not really worth that much. I wouldn't tend to go for those very well. But uh, if they're there, you may as well go for it. But so we've got a good fox pelt there, so we're getting a variety of loads of different things. I always keep consider of what uh, what is around. I mean, if it's easy to get, you may as well just go for it. If it's good to a perfect skin, then you may as well go for it. I spotted a spoonbill in the distance there. They're worth quite a lot. And there's some birds here as well. Some cranes. They're worth quite a bit. We've got three, three of those or four of those. You need to be careful sometimes as well because some of these birds do tend to despawn. Like when you shoot them out the sky, you'll go and de-feather one of the birds. And then in the distance, they'll uh, just spawn or despawn away. I don't know why that happened, but... Uh, it only seems to happen online. But that was a perfect spoon bill, so we're actually going to take this one and we're going to replace one of the birds on our horse. We know both of those birds on our horse right now are both two star, so we're replacing it with a three star, so we'll get even more money 
from this particular one. Unfortunately, you can only carry two carcasses at a time, which is a bit sad. I wish you could carry more. There's another bird now. I think that's a raven, I believe. They tend to come down whenever there's any like a, any dead bodies or dead corpses around or any carcasses. They'll come down and peck at the uh, the carcasses, and they're good to uh, good to get as well. So go ahead and pluck those. Again, I'm looking for another three star so I can stick on my horse. That's this is just a one star, so we only get one feather out of it. But these crane feathers in particular are worth quite a lot. So this is another three star crane, so we're gonna actually going to take this and put it on our horse as well. And replace it with the other two star that's on our horse. Just spotted another bird there in the sky, I'm pretty sure that's an owl. We have a lot of owls uh, coming around this area at this time of day. So we're just going to grab this owl real quick. If it's a three star, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I think they're worth a little bit more than these cranes. Only by about 25%, but still, it's something. So we're just going to replace this Peking Duck with the crane that we've got here because it's a 3 star. Peking Ducks aren't worth much, uh, the carcasses wise. We're going to go ahead and skin this big bastard right here. The Great Horned Owl. Get a couple of feathers from those. Again, with each animal uh, you can get 10 feathers from each one. But uh, you don't want to farm too much because you know if you go over the limit then uh, you won't be able to collect anymore. You'll be feathering these these birds and you won't be getting anything out of it. So just keep in, in mind that you've only, you can only get 10 from each one. There's a white-tailed buck here. Sometimes they spawn around this area as well. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot that in the, in the neck. Or in the head if we can. There we go. You want to use a rifle for those. And even though it's only a one star, we're going to take it anyway because you can collect the antlers and the meat from it as well. So even if the, even if the pelt's worth practically nothing you'll still get a dollar or two out of it but uh, we can collect the antlers from this as well as the uh, the meat and the fat so it's always good to grab these even if you do even if you were uh, if you think they're worthless just take them anyway because the books are worth a lot more than the uh, the does so again we're just scanning around the area so we can find any muskrats on the ground they tend to be around these muddy areas so keep an eye out for those. We're avoiding the frogs. We don't want those. Some turkeys here in the distance. We're going to go grab some of those as well. Me as well. They spawn quite frequently, these turkeys. So you're going to watch out for those. There's quite a few of them around the area. You can go grab those. We're using, again, a varmint rifle for any kind of bird or small creature. And the big rifles for any of the big games like the alligators and the boars and the deers. So we're running out of time here um, because I set myself a 15 minute time limit before I start heading back to something need to sell this stuff. And uh, once you've actually got everything you wanted, I always recommend setting a 15 minute time limit as well because you could get carried away with all this uh, hunting stuff or once you're out here, you could carry on. The thing is with doing that is, uh, like I said before, if you've already reached your limit of 10 feathers each or, or 10 big game meats or whatever, you are not going to collect any more. So even if you are killing these animals, you're not actually collecting anything more out of it so you may as well go back uh, sell what you've got and then just come back and uh, look around again usually there's, there's alligators on here but I quite I, use, uh, I found some balls on here one of them is a one star one of them is a three star so we're actually going to grab those again you can get the tusks and the uh, the animal fat from these and the pork loins uh, balls are actually worth more than people think they are worth because of all the stuff that comes with it. It's not just the pelts, it's the, everything that comes with it as well. So overall, they, they sell for quite a lot. These damn animations, come on, skin it. So we're actually just gonna skin these and we're gonna head back to the butchers now and sell what we have and see what we've got at the end. Now usually you can make at least, at least $50, $50 per 15 minutes. And that's at least if you, if you find a lot of herons around as well, um, usually they spawn during the day rather than at night. But if you see those around hanging around the waters, 
around the water area, uh, usually where the alligators spawn. There's usually some around there. You always see some, some in the woods as well, but we didn't actually look over there. So, But if you do tend to grab some of those, you can get another additional $20 to $30 or so out of that. There's also egrets as well. We can collect, they're, quite, they're worth quite a bit. But we didn't actually get any of those and we're still going to be making quite a lot of money. So on the way back now, we're just going to follow the train track all the way back because it's the fastest direct route in back into town. So you want to see the train track, just follow it all the way back down south. So you want to be going to this butcher's here back in the St. Denis. And now our 15 minutes is up, we're just going to go back to the butcher's and sell what we've got. But on the way back as well, we're going to use our eagle eye every now and then to see if there's anything left hanging around on our journey back. We don't really want to, if something's there that's worth $2 or whatever, we may as well take it. We're on our way back. So I was just spotted a muskrat right there. We may as well go for it because it's an extra $2. Again, using the vomit rifle. Also, while you're hunting these, you're getting a lot of more, you're getting a lot of XP as well while you're doing this. You know, it sort of has some things that happens in the background that you don't really notice, but after hunting for about an hour or so, you might find yourself if you've got a lot of, quite a lot of XP by gaining all this sort of stuff, not just the cash. Also, your honor level goes up as well, which is another thing. So again, we're just looking around the area with the eagle eye as we're going back. If you're not interested in any of these small little animals on the way back though, you just go run straight all the way there. I spotted some animals there in the background, but they're snapping turtles. They're literally worth nothing. But yeah, let's head all the way back to the butchers now and sell what we've got. Now we're at the butchers, we're going to go and sell what we have. We started off with $348, so we're going to sell the whooping crane feathers. And the meat, the game meat, the animal fat. These are all the items that we've collected in the last 15 minutes. All the meat, all the feathers, all the antlers, all the carcasses and the skins and the teeth. scent glands as well there's all, all those scent glands there toads we're already up fifty dollars right now Yeah, sometimes it will lag when you're trying to sell those, so you want to skip left to right and then refresh that. So there we go. We overall we made seventy-six dollars in fifteen minutes just by do it just by hunting around Saint Denis. It's literally that easy. Uh, you don't need to do any stupid glitches or anything like that. It's legit. You just go around hunting those animals and all those creatures that I mentioned, and uh, there you go. So that's pretty much how you make seventy-six dollars in fifteen minutes. If you like this video and enjoy this video, uh, feel free to share these, this video around and drop a like on it. And uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do any more of these uh, particular guides for this particular thing. I know a couple of more um, good money making strategies. So if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do that in the future. But yeah, this is a legit strategy. no glitches involved and all these kind of things. But um, yeah, hopefully you've learned something during this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.